Hello again. Today we are going to upgrade the Unify Cloud Key. This is the Gen 1 model that's going to be replaced. So what we're going to need to do first is back up the configuration files off of this device and then restore it onto our Cloud Key Generation 2 Plus drive. So let's log on now to the um, system and get that going. So we're on our Cloud Key device right now. If you log on to it, it gives you the option of going either into the controller itself to manage your devices or to configure the Cloud Key itself. So let's go into here. And what we want to do is go into maintenance. And as we can see here, we have auto backups configured. So since we have backups already configured here, we can log directly on to the cloud key and then copy it over into another location. Okay, so let's log on to our cloud key. All right, we're on the system. See if you can find where the backups are found. Where do they hide the backup? Auto backup. And let's check our location that we're going to save this to. Call directory called Unify. All right. Now we can shut down. We'll shut it down with service Unify stop. And that will allow me to shut down the service properly without corrupting the database in case I need to bring this one back up. So let's stop this. You could have also stopped it right here by hitting the stop unify. We can see that it's stopped now in the GUI as well. So we're going to just unplug this completely now and then plug in the new the next one. So Let's switch over to do that. What we're going to do next is bring up the new Cloud Key Plus. By plugging it in, it uses PoE as well. And what we're going to try is to just move the SD card from the version 1 to the version 2 and see if I can just restore straight from there. The device is now powering on. We're just going to wait for it to completely boot and then we'll find out what its IP address is. All right, so its new address is 207. So let's switch over to there. And we'll say continue. And we're going to set up. Console name is fine. personal that's fine finish all right Now let's make sure that this doesn't need to be updated first, so let's update it. So the system is back up now. So what we need to do to restore is go into Network, Settings, System, Backups, Restore, and then pick the latest backup file that we made previous
Okay, we're gonna say restore. Maybe I could switch devices. It does show my devices. They're currently, off, say, offline. The device says it is obtaining IP addresses, so I guess it's gathering the IP addresses from the switches and the security gateway, the access points. What if I hit refresh? Now it says it's up to date. And they all say online. Looks like I just needed to do a refresh. View in network. There we go. Off the switch. Ports. Port manager. All right, we're back to how it was. That's good. So I think we're up and running now. But hopefully this video will show you how the process actually goes so that if you're actually going from a Gen 1 to a Gen 2, you'll actually have a better understanding of how it's going to look ahead of time. Um, and then you'll feel a little bit more comfortable going through the process. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you um, did like it, um, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel because it helps the channel grow. Until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye now.